If you guys want to finish Domination, Clutch Time, Unlimited, Level 40, but you don't have the time, DM RoseNBA on Twitter. His link is in the description, and make sure to tell him I sent you. Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and welcome to my team, No Money Spent, episode 28. So in today's video, we're starting things off by locking in for another trophy case player, Steve Nash from the Phoenix Suns. Steve Nash is my eighth trophy case player, and I don't think I've seen anybody, literally anybody, talk about this card or use this card. So in this video, we're gonna play Unlimited with Steve Nash, and we're gonna find out how good he really is. Steve Nash is a six foot three-point guard from Santa Clara with a 99 offensive rating and 89 defense. He's a great shooter with a 92 mid-range shot and 94 three-point shot, but he's only got a 25 driving dunk. So he can't dunk, but he's got a 93 ball handle and 98 pass accuracy, which are both elite. And then he's got 85 perimeter defense and an 85 steal, which are both pretty solid. And last but not least, he's got 94 speed, 94 speed with ball, 91 lateral quick, he's pretty fast. And moving on to his badges, he's got Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Dimer, Floor General, Hyperdrive, Killer Combos. He's got so many great shooting and playmaking badges, but I'm not seeing many finishing badges or defensive badges. He's got Clamp Breaker, Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Limitless Range, Pick Dodger. He's got some great badges, but we didn't see many finishing or defensive badges. So obviously based on Steve Nash's badges and attributes. He's an excellent shooter and really good playmaker, but having a point guard who can actually dunk is super important, so I understand why nobody uses this card. Point guards like Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, John Wall, and even Baron Davis are so good because they're so fast and they can dunk all over you. But Steve Nash, on the other hand, he's fast, he's quick, he doesn't seem terrible on defense, but he just can't rise up and dunk all over you like Russell Westbrook and Derrick Rose can. Now on the bright side, Steve Nash has a really nice jump shot and he's got hot zones literally everywhere on the court, every single spot. That's pretty rare because I don't think a single player I have has hot zones at every single spot on the court. And of course, don't forget, Steve Nash has limitless range, so he can hit shots from behind his hot zones. If you have a guy who can shoot off the dribble or off the catch from behind these hot zones, then you know he can shoot for real. So if you combine this great shooting range with really nice handles, really nice shooting off the dribble, and pretty good finishing at the basket, then it looks like we have a pretty good point guard on our hands. However, I already mentioned his biggest weakness, which is the fact that he can't dunk. Outside of that though, this card looks really fun, so we're actually about to jump online, we're gonna get straight into My Team Unlimited, and we're gonna test him out. I can't believe that we're not starting Russell Westbrook at point guard this video, but I'm sure Steve Nash is still gonna be great. Now with all that being said, I think we're just about ready to play, so you guys sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and without any further ado, let's jump straight into Steve Nash's debut. Here we go guys. Game 1 with Steve Nash starting at point guard, and he's gonna be guarding James Harden. This guy's got a really good team though, Yao Ming, Duncan Robinson, Michael Porter Jr., and Cat. This should be a super interesting matchup, and we're playing on our home floor in front of our home fans, so let's lock in and let's give them a show. Let's have a big debut with Steve Nash. We're right there guarding James Harden, but he hits a three in my face. Excellent defense by Steve Nash, but man, we got lit up. We're right there on James Harden. We force him to the corner. He cuts back door, and this time we get the steal. We really gotta get going on offense, man. I mean, we just haven't gotten many open looks with Steve Nash, even though our defense has been all right. I'm pulling up in transition from way downtown and Steve Nash gets his first bucket. Hopefully that shot right there gets us going because we're looking terrible right now. Kyrie's sacking off. I guess he doesn't know that Steve Nash can hit shots like that from the logo. Back to back threes from Steve Nash and he's shooting pretty well. I just haven't shot with him very much and we get a stop on defense right there. Let's run this fast break, give it to Worthy and cut this lead down to 10. Great defense, we get another stop. Let's run this fast break again. Again. 
Steve Nash has it, he throws it ahead, and Jarrett Allen gets to the rim. I always say defense to offense, we get another stop, drive to the rim, Pippen's wide open, I press the wrong button, but we're still gonna get that three-pointer to fall. Let's keep on guarding up Kyrie. We're right there, he goes to the corner, we tip the pass and force another turnover. Let's throw it ahead to Worthy, from way downtown, back to back threes, and we're only down by two. That first quarter was terrible, this guy was hitting tough shots, I couldn't score, but now we're getting out in transition, we're hitting our shots, we defend James Harden very well, and we're running. I'm not gonna take the layup with Steve Nash. Actually, yes I am. Steve Nash hasn't shot that much, but he's got 10 points already, and of course, he's gonna knock down these free throws. After this shot, we have a two-point lead after trailing by 15. I mean, sometimes you're hot and sometimes you're not. In the first quarter, we couldn't buy a bucket, but we're on fire now. Even though Steve Nash is tired, he's playing great, and we're getting so many more open looks. Nice shot by Pippen. Let's see, can we get one more shot to end the first half? Let's call a high pick and fade, and now Sabonis is open. Oh yeah, that's too easy right there. We got off to such a bad start, but we're looking so good on defense, we gotta get that rebound, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about a tie game at halftime. Let's keep on contesting shots, and let's keep on getting stops. This James Harden is really good, and right there, he actually got past Steve Nash, but we forced the miss. I'm not gonna lie, Steve is getting pretty tired, so we're gonna sub him out soon, but let's knock down this mid-range shot. Okay, Steve. Steve Nash is out of the game, but we're gonna sub him back in in the fourth quarter. For now, let's keep on building this lead. We've been locking up on defense, getting stops, and getting easy scores. Let's see if Westbrook can contain James Harden. We're right there on Duncan Robinson. The shot clock's running down, and we should get a stop, but you never know with 2K. Great defense. It's fast break time. Westbrook drives in, and that right there is exactly what Steve Nash can't do. If Steve Nash could drive to the rim and dunk like that, he would be unstoppable. Westbrook does it again. Whether Steve Nash is in the game or not, we're always able to get good looks. We're always able to get to the rim, and with takeover, Russell Westbrook is practically unstoppable. I love the way we're shooting, we're playing excellent defense, we get another stop right here, and it's time to run. Let's see if I can get a good shot, let's give it back to Russ, and let's attack the basket once again! Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a dunk, but that was still nice. Early in this game, we were down by double digits, but now we lead by double digits. Let's keep on locking up on defense and forcing tough shots like that, and of course, let's keep on running. We still have team takeover, so let's keep on attacking. Somebody's open. It's a bonus down the middle. Now it's James Worthy. 4-3, it's good. It took me a little while to figure this guy out, but we definitely did. This guy can't get a shot now. Ever since the first quarter, we have dominated this game. We have this guy on lock, and Zabonis steps in. Beautiful pass, beautiful shot. Let's get one more shot right here, and then in the fourth quarter, we're bringing Steve Nash in. Are you really leaving Russell Westbrook open for three? Come on, man. At the end of three quarters, we have a 17-point lead. We have made this game into a blowout. All right, Steve, it's your time again. We're being guarded by Yao Ming. We get straight past him. We have so much space for the mid-range shot, and we knock it down. He couldn't recover. Let's keep on cooking with Nash. James Harden's right there, but we get past him. We shoot the quick layup with the left hand, and we get it to go. Let's keep on locking up. I know he wants that three. We get there, we can test it, he misses, and we're running the fast break. I want the three, but let's see if I can get another shot from the corner. Steve Nash knocks it down, but it's only a two. That was still a very nice shot, and that's great defense right there by Nash. Let's throw it ahead, let's pull up. I didn't mean to shoot a moving three, but we draw the foul, and this guy's done. I didn't mean to shoot that moving three. I was trying to shoot a standing three from that logo, but it's no big deal because this guy's out. That was a really good debut for Steve Nash. I mean, he had like 24 points, five assists, and we got a blow blowout win on our home floor. It doesn't get much better than that. Actually, yes it does. We're moving on to the Amethyst tier. We get this diamond prize ball, and I guess we'll use this ball in my next game. Yeah, that was a really good first game for Steve Nash, but I think we can do better. So let's jump straight into game two, and let's see if we can score more points, get more assists, but most importantly, get another win. Let's go, guys. It's time for game two, and we're playing versus Derrick Rose and J.R. Smith. 
Smith, along with Carmelo, Big Z, and Amari Stoudemire. This is not gonna be an easy game. We're playing on the road in a hostile environment versus a very good team, but I think my guys can do this. Let's bring it up with Steve Nash, and it looks like this guy's playing zone defense, so let's move that ball around and let's see if I can get some good shots. I'm lucky because I have some really good shooters out there, but let's see how well this guy plays the zone. Oh yeah, James Worthy knocks it down from the corner. This guy better not play zone because we have great shooters. Steve Nash pulls up and hits it from way downtown. Steve Nash might not have any dunk packages, but he's definitely got range. He's an excellent passer, and Jarrett Allen cashes in from the corner. Last game, we got off to a terrible start, but in this game, we're actually doing all right. We're playing good defense and scoring right off the bat. Steve Nash is looking really good, and and Derrick Rose is having trouble guarding him. Nope. We get to the rim, but we get rejected. I didn't want to shoot that layup, but yeah, that was a terrible animation. If Steve Nash could actually dunk, that would have been a dunk, but sadly he can't. So I got to shoot quick layups. I got to take good shots. That time we don't get rejected, thankfully. So far, we're looking pretty good. Steve Nash has nine points and we're in the lead. We get a steal right here and a fast break opportunity. Let's throw that thing to Drexler and let's see if I can get a good shot. His defense is back. Steve Nash fades away. Man, that is such a nice shot. Beautiful leaner from the top of the key. Now let's guard the pick and roll. Jeremy Lin drives in passes to Big Z, and we strip him. Great defense, Steve Nash hustles, and let's run this fast break again. Let's give it to Nash, let's drive to the rim, and man, James Worthy was wide open. Let's swing that ball to Steve Nash. Nah, he's not open. Actually, yes he is. I'm gonna shoot that, because why not? 14 points now for Nash, back-to-back -back buckets, and we lead by seven. That's a tough shot by Jeremy Lin, and look who's running. It's Steve Nash. I want to pull up so bad, but let's get the smart two-pointer with Scottie Pippen. I love the way we're playing right now. Steve Nash has been absolutely killing it in this video. He shoots the floater and gets it to fall. Since Steve Nash can't dunk, we gotta improvise. Last game, I shot that super quick left-handed layup. Right there, I shot the floater. We gotta improvise since we can't dunk like Westbrook with Steve Nash. Can we make this a double-digit lead right here? Oh yes, we can. James Worthy throws it down off the dish from Russ. Having Russell Westbrook as my sixth man just feels unfair because he's such a beast. Let's see if I can get a shot right here. Oh yeah, you gotta get out of that zone, man. I mean, it didn't work in the first quarter and it's not gonna work now. We're just gonna penetrate, pass out to the open man. We're gonna keep on moving the ball because you guys know I love moving the ball. Look at this, Sabonis, right by the basket gets the layup. I bet you guys didn't see that coming. Y'all thought I was gonna pass around and find the open shooter. Nah, Sabonis was right there, so I had to go up. Great defense by Sabonis too. We're looking so good right now, playing at such a good pace, getting stops on defense, hitting shots. Let's take a double digit lead and then we're gonna sub Steve Nash right back in. Let's give that ball to Russ. Let's run that pick and roll. Oh yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Russell Westbrook with a moving three from the corner. Y'all thought I was gonna run around that screen and drive to the rim, guess what? We're hitting moving three-pointers. Just like in real life, Russell Westbrook is looking amazing off the bench. He gets to the rim. Where's the help defense at, man? Why is there no defense in the paint? Ooh, I really can't talk. This is just a battle of terrible defense right now. We're both getting such open shots, and Zabonis cans it from downtown. We're looking so good right now, and Russell Westbrook has flashing takeover, but I gotta sub Steve Nash back in because this is his video. Let's get one more stop on defense. Good job by Zabonis. We get the strip. Now let's get one more bucket with Russ, and then we're gonna sub in Steve Nash. Russ gets all the way to the cup, but he misses. Sabonis puts it back and we lead by 15. I'm not subbing Steve Nash back in until we get one more bucket with Russ. There we go. Russ, you did such a good job, but it's time to bring back Steve Nash. Right there, that was terrible defense, but at least he didn't get the two. Steve Nash is back, which means it's time to attack. 
Let's run around this screen and let's drive to the rack. Look at that rhyme. I mean, listen to that rhyme and look at that bucket. I got the rhymes and Steve Nash is dropping dimes to Sabonis for the mid-range shot. All right, for real, I gotta stop rhyming and I gotta start playing better. I'm CP the Doc, not Dr. Seuss. Let's get this double-digit lead back. Nice drive middle, nice pass to Jarrett Allen. He goes up and the foul. That right there is good basketball. Nice drive by Steve Nash. Nice dish to Jared Allen, and we get the old-fashioned three. Let's give it back to Nash, and let's get another bucket. We have so much space. Steve Nash drives, and he puts up the quick lefty layup. Just like I said earlier, I gotta improvise. I gotta get fancy. I can't go up and get those slow layup animations. We gotta go up fast. Speaking of fast, we're back on the fast break. I'm pulling up in transition. Why take a two when you can shoot a three? 23 points for Nash, and he had 24 last game, so let's get one more bucket, and I'll be happy. Let's get it, man. High pick and roll. Another nice drive. Another quick layup and Nash has 25. I'm happy now. We could actually get 30 points with Steve Nash if we hit our shots and lock in because we have 26 right now and there's so much time left. Oh yeah, we get fouled by Isaiah and we should hit these free throws. Just two more points, one more bucket and Nash has 30. He shoots the floater, but he misses it. Ah, oh. come on, Steve. We have seven seconds left. This is probably our last chance to get 30 points. Nice spin, nice shot, and Steve Nash puts it in with 1.6 seconds left to get 30 points in his second game. But more importantly, we get the win. I mean, 30 points in 14 minutes is really, really good, but you guys know I'm already happier about getting the win. We are now 34 and five, two and oh, with Steve Nash starting at point guard. After two games, I gotta say, I'm a really big fan of this card. I never see anybody use him and I understand why, but he's actually way more fun than I was expecting. No, he's not a great dunker like Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, or any of those guys I mentioned earlier, but he can really, really shoot that three. I mean, you guys see the range. We've hit so many deep threes already this video. We've also gotten to the rim and made some nice layups, but we've also gotten blocked a few times, so there's that too. But so far, I'm enjoying this card. I think I think once this video's over, I'm not actually gonna use him as my starting PG. He's probably gonna come off the bench, but he is more than serviceable. And like I said, I'm actually having so much fun with this card. So with all that being said, let's run it back again. Let's keep on playing with Steve Nash because he's a pretty fun card. Game three, guys, this is gonna be good. We're playing versus Marcus Smart, Devin Booker, Xavier McDaniel, David Robinson, and Giannis. Wow, 2K is actually giving me a break. No matter what our matchup is though, we're locking in and we're gonna get this win. I know Marcus Smart is a great point guard, but we're gonna drop him off with Steve Nash. Just because this guy's team isn't very good and just because he doesn't have a great record doesn't mean I can take him lightly because he's got Giannis, he's got some guys who can score in the paint, we gotta get off to a good start and run this guy out of the building, nice dunk by Drexler. As always, let's get stops on defense and then let's capitalize by getting out in transition and getting easy buckets. It looks like this guy is gonna post up a lot and drive to the rim a lot. He makes another contested shot. Hey man, if we play defense like that every single time, we're gonna get a bunch of stops. So let's not get discouraged. Let's just keep on scoring. Steve Nash pulls up and knocks down a three. Jarrett Allen has a mismatch. Let's pass it out to Pippen. Now Steve Nash shoots it again, and that's another three for Steve. We're hitting our shots. We're getting stops on defense. Even though this guy is very frustrating, even though his team's not very good he knows how to score he knows that all you gotta do is get right by the basket hold down the shoot button and you're gonna get buckets steve nash has it again i want to throw it to jarrett allen but scotty pippen's the open man so let's knock it down steve nash has takeover so we gotta put on a show i'm snatching back Marcus Smart's in the vicinity, but he's not close enough. Steve Nash hits the leaner with takeover. Let's do it again. Let's keep on shooting with Steve Nash until his takeover runs out. Nice behind the back. We got an open shot, and we hit it.
it from deep. Steve Nash is putting on a show right now, man. He's got 14 points in the first quarter, and we lead by 14. I mean, we saw this coming because this guy's team isn't very good, and of course, we get the quit. We can't be stopped with Steve Nash at point guard. He's going absolutely crazy, and in that game we just played, he probably could have scored like 40, maybe 50 points if the other guy wouldn't have quit, but hey, that was a great win. Steve Nash is looking amazing, and we're gonna run a couple more games with him right now. It's getting pretty late. It's 151, so let's play two more games, and then we'll call it a night. In game four of the night, we're playing versus Derrick Rose and J.R. Smith. RJ Barrett, Carl Towns, and Scottie Pippen. Let's keep this winning streak going, man. We have the better team, but this guy has a really good record, so this should be another good game. Steve Nash has it. He throws it ahead to Jarrett Allen. Yeah, we gotta take the easy two right there. Wow, so we got that easy two because our opponent is out of here. He didn't want the smoke. He didn't feel like hanging around, and we actually get a win for that? Are you serious? It was 2-0. We barely even played played like 10 seconds and we get the win. You know, I'm not gonna complain. Usually we never get wins after a quit that fast, but like I said, I'm not complaining. That's now 4 and 0, oh, even though that game was super short. So let's jump into game 5. This might be our final game of the video because come on, 5 unlimited games in one video? That's a lot. Here we go, game 5. Let's keep this streak alive. Derrick Rose, Michael Jordan, Pippen, Kareen, and Kemp. Now that's a great team. I already know this game's gonna be tough because this guy's been doing settings for over one minute. I just wanna play, but this guy's been going at it for almost two minutes now. It's actually gonna be two minutes right here. That timer is slowly ticking down. 39 seconds left, and finally we're getting started. Hopefully all those settings are worth it. I mean, he's got a really good team, so I'm sure he's got some really really good settings too. He's probably running a five out offense. Yeah, he's just trying to speed boost and get to the rim. Great defense by Nash and we forced the miss. This guy was doing settings for so long, so I really don't know how many open shots we're gonna get with Steve Nash, but we created a great shot right there for Scottie Pippen. Let's keep the offense going. I mean, we're off to a great start. Steve Nash drives in and we get open again with Pippen back to back threes to begin this game. Let's keep it going. I love the defense we're playing and we've gotten two really good shots off good passes from Steve Nash. There's another open shot right there. Steve Nash, he's been scoring pretty well the entire video, but now he's dropping dimes. Eight nothing lead. Derrick Rose goes around the screen. We're right there with Worthy and Pippen. He pulls up from downtown and that's off. Let's keep the offense rolling. Let's keep on creating with Steve Nash. We pass out to Allen, again, 10-0 start. Is this guy trolling me? He spent so much time doing settings, but he's not playing very well. Yeah, he's gotta be messing around, but I don't know, I'm not complaining. Nice drive by Scottie Pippen, and we get the layup. Steve Nash again, he drives, he spins, Jarrett Allen has it, and this guy's not moving. I think he quit the game. I think he dashboarded, I don't think he's gonna inbound the ball, and yeah. Any second now, he's probably gonna quit. That's crazy. So we ended up playing three minutes of this game, and this guy did almost three minutes of settings. That's unbelievable. He spent all that time doing all those settings just to go down 14-0 in the first three minutes and lose. That's crazy, but hey, we got the job done. This streak is still alive, and we're moving up to 38-5. and five. I know that was a super quick, super easy win, but I'm done playing Unlimited. Let's jump into Triple Threat online with Steve Nash. Let's get one win and then we're probably gonna end this video. Steve Nash, Scottie Pippen, Jarrett Allen. Now that is a great lineup. So let's run it and let's end this video with a dub. We're matching up with Shadon Sharp, Duncan Robinson, and Chet Holmgren. So this should be a pretty easy win, assuming this guy's not that good. I've been playing versus pretty good teams the entire video. So I see a team like this and I just take a huge breath of fresh air. I mean, hopefully this game is not super sweaty. Hopefully I can just go crazy with Steve Nash one more time because we've been sweating a lot this video. Now, I know my last three games have been pretty easy wins, but actually, if you really think about it, almost every single game this video has been pretty easy. 
Steve Nash shoots it, and he knocks it down, but as I was saying, in our very first game, we were down by like 15 points, but then we ended up coming back and taking a very big lead and winning. In game two, I think it was a pretty close game in the first half, but we led by like nine at halftime, then we really pulled away in the second half, and then this guy, what, what was I saying? I forgot. That guy allowed Steve Nash to score 30 points. That's what I was gonna say. So that was also a pretty easy game. And then in my last three games, we've gotten quits. And in this game right here, we lead by double digits. So it's looking like this is gonna be another easy win, but I'm never gonna complain about getting easy wins. Steve Nash only has eight points. We can definitely do better than that. So let's shoot this fading mid-range shot. Let's knock it down. And we don't have takeover for some reason, but it's not a big deal. Steve, don't worry. We're gonna make sure you take the final shot of the video. Beautiful spin move, whoo! That is just disgusting right there. I mean, it's also beautiful. That was a nice spin, nice fadeaway mid-range shot, and really a perfect way to cap off this video. I'm just gonna say it, no hesitation. I think Pink Diamond Steve Nash is really, really good. I think his only big weakness is that he can't dunk the ball because he's really not bad defensively and as you guys saw, he has great playmaking abilities, great passing, great three point range, nice finishing around the basket and really good speed with and without the ball. So really, his one big weakness is dunking and sadly, that's the reason why I gotta bring him off the bench behind Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, he can't shoot as well as Steve Nash, but the fact that he can dunk on anybody with and with without takeover is what makes him such a threat. So Steve is really good and I'm probably gonna make the title of this video something like, why is nobody talking about this insane point guard or something like that? I don't know, but Steve Nash is really good and I never see anybody use him. So if you like Steve Nash, if you're a fan of him, or if you're a fan of point guards who, you know, aren't insane dunkers, but they can shoot, they can create, they can get to the rim and throw nice passes, Steve Nash is your guy because he's not even that bad on defense. So yeah, that's pretty much the review right there. I don't think Steve Nash is a top five point guard in the game. He might not even be top 10, but for me, I think he's definitely top 10. Obviously the best point guards in the game, like I mentioned earlier, are the guys who can dunk like Russell Westbrook, for example. I also have Caruso on my bench who might also be a top five, top 10 point guard. But of course, you gotta take into account guys like Derrick Rose, guys like John Wall, Baron Davis, guys who can hit threes, get to the rim, dunk it, but also play some defense. And yeah, with all that being said, I feel like that's a pretty good review for Steve Nash, and we're gonna end this video right here. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're still watching right now, then huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you really did enjoy this video, then show me by dropping a like if you haven't already. And of course, if you wanna see more videos just like this, then make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. You guys already know this, but I really enjoy posting, editing, recording these no money spent videos, and you guys have just been showing so much support on these, so thank y'all so much for that. And as long as you guys keep on supporting these videos, I'm gonna keep on dropping them. So stay tuned for even more no money spent videos, and I know I say thank you a lot, but seriously thank you guys for tuning in, and if you're still watching this video right now, you're awesome and I really appreciate you. And yeah, I think I've said pretty much everything I need to say, so let's end this video right here. One more time, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all stay chill, stay safe, have a great week, and I'll see y'all again real soon.